Hello watch fans, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today something completely different, something very exciting. I was contacted by a company called DIY Watch Club, do it yourself watch club. They specialize in these kits where you can actually assemble, build your own watch. You can build dive watches, pilot watches and dress watches. And today we're going to actually assemble this watch. They did some little customization for me with the rotor, which we're going to get into a little later in this video. This was sent to me, I get to keep it. So just full disclosure. So the first thing you have to do is to put on these finger condoms. And it's in two sizes, these smaller black ones and these bigger yellow ones and my sausage fingers they need the bigger ones so i'm going to put on the yellow ones if you're right-handed you put them on your left hand and if you're left-handed you put them on your right hand these finger condoms are to not actually grease the parts of the watch when you start to assemble the journey of building or assembling your own dive watch is approximately two hours so the first thing is you actually work on the case you have to unscrew the crown this is of course a dive watch, so it's a screw down crown. And then you have to unscrew the case back you see down at the back here. The next thing you do is actually removing the gasket here. According to the instructions, you have to put it in a bag to not contaminate it. Then you remove the inner part here. And lastly, you remove 
the kind of rehort part here where you have the railroad track where you can see the minute and the hour markings inside here. So the next part is actually starting to work on the movement. It's very important according to the instructions that you hold the movement like this with finger condoms on your fingers not to grease the movement. And now I loosened the crown. This is just the service crown. This is not the real crown. The real crown is included in the case here. Later we'll actually be inserting the crown into the movement. But with the crown out, next step is actually to remove this basic from the factory rotor. So what we are going to do is use one of the tools, one of the screwdrivers included in the packaging. And maybe you can just sense it here. It's now loosened and it's off the factory rotor. And now it's time to apply my customary rotor. Blowing off all dust with this. This is also included. Just as to have no dust in the movement. And then we put on the customary rotor. And voila, here we actually have it. So now my customary rotor is attached to the movement, the crown is removed, and we're going to move on to the next steps. So here you see, I have now applied the dial, this beautiful green sunburst dial. To the movement, it was very easy. You get some little feet that, had, that has to actually fit into the movement and then you just click it on, so it's pretty easy. You see the date window here. It is between dates, but we'll of course be adjusting that in a few seconds. The next thing we have to do is actually get the movement with the dial and the crown into this movement holder. And what you do is actually you place the movement holder here and then you take the dial by the crown. And you see we get an opening for the crown right here. You place it in. And it's very easy, you just click it into place like this. Now you see we got the movement in the movement holder. So now it's the most tricky part of actually assembling this watch. It is actually installing the hands. You see here, all three hands, second, minute and hour hand, and now we're going to actually get them attached to the movement. First you start with the hour hand. As you see here, I now have the hours because I can actually turn it. Next up is the minute hand we got here. So that was the hour hand and the minute hand. Let's just have a look. You see, both hands are now installed. Okay, and finally all three hands are installed. And let me just tell you, installing the second hand was a nightmare. I really didn't enjoy that part. It took a long time, so I had to do it off camera. But now you see it running. Everything is installed correctly. So now we are ready for the next part, which is actually putting the watch in its case. So here's the chapter ring. The interesting thing as a complete amateur is that you can actually adjust it to 12 o'clock. You don't need to have any Seiko misadjustment because you can actually do it yourself adjust by adjusting the movement holder towards the chapter ring here and you get the perfect alignment. So let's start with the case back. Be sure to wipe off the case back really nicely so you don't have any dust on either side. And before I did screw in the case back, I put in a little rubber ring, which you also get in the packaging just to seal the water tightness. So now the watch is actually almost ready, so we only need to attach the rubber strap. And that is extremely easy. That's the most easy part of actually 
making this watch, assembling this watch because you get these easy removal spring bars here. And before we move into the last part of this video where I'm going to talk about how it was assembling my own watch, how the instructions were, and what I got out of it, was it a joy, was it a real hassle, and also a very short review of the finished product. Here we have the watch on my wrist. So first of all, I actually think that overall you get a really nice watch. I think that the materials are nice. If you look at the sunburst effect on this dial here, look at how beautiful this green sunburst is. I think they did a really good job with the dial. Really nice application of the hour markings filled with loom, application of the D for the do-it-yourself watch club diver. Nice finish to the hands if you don't destroy them when you uh, put them on the watch. You can discuss what to think about the DVC, the printing on the dial, but it will still be a watch will you remember for assembling it yourself. Also, the bezel insert is really nice, filled with loom. Let's just have a loom shot now. You can see the loom is really strong on this watch, so definitely no complaints in the loom department. The 60-click unidirectional bezel has no play. And I think the bezel action is really, really nice. It's very soft, but not too loose. I think of all the bezel action is definitely nice. The case is really nicely finished. And here you see it, the beautiful chamfering on the locks. A nice big crown, very easy to operate. It's a screw on crown and you know the Seiko in H35A, hacking, manual winding. So you can stop it. Wind the watch, set the time, whatever you want to do, and screw back in the crown. Very easy to operate. The see-through case back is always a nice thing, and of course it's very nice because as you see on the rotor, it says Regitze. Regitze is the name of my daughter. I got this rotor custom made. They can actually make a rotor for you where they engrave some text you would really want to have on your watch. You see all the different information. I think it's a really nice little touch because it makes this watch even more personal than a watch that you are assembling yourself. And I must say that the rubber strap is really nice quality. Look at the thickness, but it's extremely flexible. Just look at how easy I can bend this strap. Let's just have some dimensions. 41.5 millimeters in diameter, 14 millimeters in thickness, lock width of 22. and 47.5 millimeters. And here we have the Regitze watch on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist. I think it got a really nice wrist presence. It feels good on the wrist. It's 14 millimeters thick, so it definitely has some presence. This is a really nice summer watch. And it's a watch you will always remember that you assembled yourself. You will always have a special connection to this watch. Although I got a lot of other watches with exactly the same specifications, which are much cheaper. I think this watch, because I had all the hassles and I had also all the enjoyment of assembling this watch myself, it will hold a special place in my collection. I got to keep all the tools and the watch from Do It Yourself Watch Club just to disclose everything. And I can definitely recommend trying out one of their sets, the assembling sets or kits. You can also assemble other watch types, for example, a dress watch or a pilot's watch if you don't like dive watches. I think the best thing I got out of this is actually learning much more about how a watch is assembled, learning how much work actually goes into assembling a watch. When I get watches in for review, it's very easy for me just to, you know, criticize or say something not too good about a watch. But when you know how much work actually goes into assembling one of these watches, of course, I know it's done in factories and by professionals. Still, you have to put in some work to assemble these watches. And I got a lot of respect for watchmakers and the whole assembly process now. So all in all, I can definitely recommend trying one of these assembly kits. Be patient, 
set off some hours to actually assembling this watch, see the videos more than once, also find other videos and tutorials on YouTube to compare. And if you're patient and you follow all the steps and you set the right time, don't just find one hour, find maybe two, three or four hours to really be very thorough when you assemble this watch, it will be a nice and fun experience. It was kind of therapeutic to actually sit with all these little details. So thank you to Do It Yourself Watch Club for sending in this watch. You can have a visit on their website, look in down in the description, you can find the link to the website. I hope you enjoyed this video of assembling a watch and also the quick review and my experience of assembling a watch from Do It Yourself Watch Club. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.